If you're looking to improve your audio with a USB mic, this may be a solution that will work great for you. This is the Yeti X, of course, from Blue. This is an awesome mic for me, particularly because this was the first mic that I actually bought when I was starting my podcast years and years and years ago when I didn't have any microphones or audio recorder. So I bought a USB microphone plugged directly in to record that way. It was like the original Blue Yeti. And today we're talking about the Yeti X and everything you're seeing in this video and hearing in this video, unless otherwise noted, audio is going through this microphone that you're seeing in front of me going straight into my laptop here via USB and I'm recording into Adobe Audition and the only audio processing that I'll do is to raise that gain just a little bit but I'm looking at the waveforms here and it's probably going to be pretty good. We're not going to get into a lot of the technical details of this mic because I think most people that would be buying a mic like this are really just going to want to know what it sounds like. And it does come with this little handy reference guide and there's four patterns, but really if people are looking for this mic to be something like improving audio in Zoom calls or recording voiceovers, you'll be using the cardioid pattern, which basically is using the mic that aims in front of the mic. And I love they do have a big graphic that tells people don't speak into the top of this mic because anyone who knows the Blue Yeti mic gets frustrated and irritated every time you see somebody talking into the top. It's side address microphone, which means the audio is being picked up from the side. So you talk into the side of it, not from the top of it. So again, this is in the cardioid pattern. There's four options, which we're not going to get into all of those because like I said, most people that are going to be using this are going to be using it for situations situations like this, recording voiceovers, improving audio in Zoom calls. So everything throughout this video is recorded in cardioid pattern. You can simply change the patterns uh, with this button around the back if you do need to. And there's plenty of other videos that will explain all the differences for those different patterns. One thing that I really like about this microphone is there's a sensitivity adjustment on the front. So I can adjust how sensitive the microphone is picking up my voice simply with this dial right here in the front and it gives me a visual representation of my levels right on the front via these lights. While we're talking about the dial on the front, you can actually just push it once and it'll mute the mic, which is really great, especially if you're using like Zoom call type things, because you can always mute it on your call, but sometimes it might be a lot easier just to tap the microphone to mute if there's a dog barking or a truck drives by, and uh, you can simply mute and unmute just by tapping that front button once, and it gives you a visual representation on the lights also that it's muted, it'll, it'll light up red, that it's not picking up any audio. So again, this is a real life example. This room that I'm in is kind of okay. There's some sound blankets, but also there's some like road noise right outside that wall. So it's kind of a real life example of what a typical what kind of work from home type person would, would be operating under without like a perfectly refined studio. The mic is about a foot away from me right now. What I will do is move it a little bit further away so you can get a feel for how it changes the pickup when you might not have it quite so close. So this mic, I didn't adjust anything uh, as far as levels or anything, but the mic is about like arm's length away, so probably more like two feet away. And you'll see how that affects the pickup of my voice like that. And we're back here. So there are a bunch of additional features and presets and a bunch more that you can do with this mic. But again, I want to keep this very simple and mostly just offer a audio sample so you know what this mic would actually sound like if you purchased it. Another use case for this microphone might be for musicians. And I did a test with Garrett Wheeler as he was here for a episode of the Between Dreams sessions. So we'll play that clip right now. In this first version of the clip, you'll hear it just no audio processing. This is exactly what the microphone picks up. And then we'll do another take with a little bit of audio processing, since most musicians are going to probably add a little bit of effects onto the sound when they are recording music. I 
I don't know what you said, I don't have a clue and I doubt it was anywhere close to the truth You lied to me then, set me free, let me on my own I bet you'll be sad to see I'm getting along Getting along Getting along So that's what the microphone sounds like straight in and we'll do one more take of same same exact recording this one just has a bit of audio effects and processing added to it I don't know what you said, I don't have a clue and I doubt it was anywhere close to the truth You lied to me then, set me free, let me on my own I bet you'll be sad to see I'm getting along Getting along Getting along So that's what my kind of basic, a little bit of added audio processing, a little bit of a combo of some reverb, compression, and some of my little secret sauce that I use to edit the Between Dream Sessions audio. So this is the Yeti X from Blue. I think it sounds really great for a relatively inexpensive and simple to use USB microphone. If you've got any other gear questions or audio questions, feel free to drop them in a comment and we'll address it in an upcoming video.